Hello dear students. So in this video, we are going to learn about a method which is used to solve circuits. Okay. Now this name of the method is node potential method. Okay. Now to solve a circuit, like in NCRT, we have uh, Ohm's law, uh, knowledge of series combination of resistors, parallel combination of resistors. Then we learn about Kirchhoff rules, and then we are told that we are using Kirchhoff rules because to solve complex circuits we need some additional tools okay now Kirchhoff rules you can use uh, in board in, in fact you are expected to use Kirchhoff rules okay but while attempting questions in entrances whether it is JE need or in that matter any other entrance uh, it is better to avoid Kirchhoff rule okay because uh, this Kirchhoff rule is often very lengthy process of solving a circuit okay so here we are going to discuss one method called node potential method. Okay. Now suppose this is a circuit given. Uh, 4 volt is the potential of this uh, battery. This is 2 volt. This is 2 ohm. This is 2 ohm. This is 2 ohm. Okay. And now it is asked like what is the current flowing through this part. Okay. This 2 ohm resistance. How much current is flowing? Okay, so now we are going to use this method. Okay, so we are going to learn how to use this method. Okay, so basically, see if you see this cell and this cell, so this is 4 volt, this is 2 volt. So that means across this potential difference is 4 volt. So if I consider this to be at 0 volt, this terminal at 0 volt, that means this terminal is at 4 volt because potential difference is. 4 volt so this is 0 so from this side if you see this is 2 volt so if that is across this the potential difference is 2 volt so if this is at 0 volt this will be at 2 volt 2 volt okay Achha. now this is 0 this is 0 so obviously this point will be at 0 volt okay there is no problem in this okay Achha. now I don't know the potential at this point if I know the potential, this is 0 volt. If I know the potential at this point, so potential difference is known, resistance is given, I can find the current. Okay, that is the question like what is the current flowing through this part? So I know, don't know the potential at this point, so I will take it as x. x is unknown. Okay, Achha. now at this point, now this is the node. Node means junction. Okay, where more than two connections are meeting so this is one wire this is one second wire this third wire so this will be called as node okay so now the method is like at this node you assume that the potential is lowest in comparison to these three okay if the potential is lowest current will flow like this because this is high potential current will flow in this direction so this is lowest in comparison to this so current will flow like this this is lowest in comparison to this, so current will flow like this. So now the total current flowing towards the junction, it will be equal to 0, that is junction rule. Okay, so either you have to assume this potential to be the lowest, or you have to assume that this potential is highest. If you assume the potential to be highest, current will flow in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. So total outward current will also be 0, again from junction rule. Okay, so now let us assume that the potential at x is lowest potential is lowest potential lowest okay so lowest means it is lowest in comparison to these three so current which is flowing in this direction it will be 4 minus x potential difference divided by resistance 2 this is the current flowing in this direction okay the current flowing in this direction will be this is again this is lowest so high potential minus low potential so plus 2 minus x divided by potential difference divided by resistance 2 okay plus again this is lowest in comparison to this so this is 0 minus x divided by 2 so algebraic sum of current meeting at a point it is equal to 0 this is junction rule Okay, this is junction rule. Now, 
we have to find see here the only unknown is x okay so that can easily be determined like this is 4 minus x plus 2 minus x and this is minus x is equal to 0 so this is 4 plus 2 6 minus 3x is equal to 0 or 6 is equal to 3x or x is equal to 2 volt x is equal to 2 volt so this x this is 2 volt this is 2 volt this is 0 so what is the potential difference potential difference is 2 minus 0 so current will be potential difference 2 minus 0 potential difference divided by resistance so this is equal to 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 ampere so current that is flowing through this part is 1 ampere of course we can solve this using cut off rule also okay but that will be a bit lengthy okay so this is how you can use node potential to solve such kind of circuits okay now here we have a circuit looks like a weak stone bridge but it is not balanced the circuit is given in your ncrt textbook and it is asked like what is the current net current supplied by the battery so this current is asked what is the current and what is the equivalent resistance okay so in ncrt or for that matter in board examination you have to solve this circuit using kirchhoff rule okay using kirchhoff rule you have to solve this circuit but here we are going to use this method node potential method so see this is 10 volt potential difference so this is this side the potential is 0 volt this side the potential is 10 volt the potential difference is 10 volt okay so if this is at 10 volt the potential at this point it will be 10 volt and potential at this point it will be 0 volt okay here it is 10 volt here it is 0 volt okay now this is one node and this is another node so in this question in this circuit we have two nodes okay and i don't know the potential at either of the two nodes so here i will take the potential as x and here i will take it as y okay Achha. now i told you the node potential you have to assume that either it is lowest so that currents are all coming towards the junction towards the node or it is highest so the currents are going away from the junction again the sum is going to be zero so at node node b at node b i can write current flowing in this direction this is lowest potential okay so this is 10 minus x 10 minus x uh, potential difference divided by resistance so 10 this is lowest uh, so this is y minus x potential difference plus y minus x divided by resistance potential difference divided by resistance this is 5 this is 0 minus x high potential minus low potential potential difference divided by resistance 5 is equal to 0 okay so simplifying this we have 10 minus x plus 2y minus 2x minus 2x is equal to 0 so this is 2y uh, minus 5x it is equal to minus 10 okay 2y minus 5x equal to minus 10 so this is for node b for node d this is the condition for node b for node d if you see node d okay now node d uh, again we have to assume the same condition like either the potential is lowest or highest so again let us assume that the potential is lowest so current that is coming from this side current that is coming from this side it will be how much potential difference 10 highest potential minus low potential so 10 minus y divided by 5 potential difference divided by resistance current that is coming to this junction this is lowest so x minus y divided by 5 potential difference divided by resistance okay again current from this side it is also coming to the node d so 0 minus y divided by 10 so this is equal to 0 ok 
okay so simplifying this we have 20 minus 2y uh, plus 2x minus 2y minus y it is equal to 0 okay so this is 2x minus 5y 2x minus 5y is equal to minus 20 so this is equation 2 okay so we have two equations and two unknowns so we have to simplify them to get the value of x and y okay so what we can do we can uh, say this is 2y this is 2x so let us multiply this both sides by 2 and this both sides by 5 okay so this becomes 4y minus 10x is equal to minus 20 okay and this becomes 10x minus 25y which is equal to minus 100 minus 100 okay so now if you subtract these two equations or we have to add actually this is minus 10x this is plus 10x so if we add this gets cancelled this is 4 and this is 25 so this is uh, how much minus uh, 21y minus 21y we are adding so this is minus 120 minus 120 so this minus minus gets cancelled so y is equal to 120 by 21 y is equal to 120 by 21 so this is 347 so y is equal to 40 by 7 volt y is equal to 40 by 7 so this potential is known so if we uh, use any of the equation like suppose this is substituted over here so 4y minus 10x is equal to minus 20 so this is 40 by 7 so this is y is 40 by 7 so this is 160 by 7 so this is 160 by 7 this comes over here so this is 20 it is equal to 10x so this 10 can be removed okay so this is 7 to the 14 16 plus 14 divided by 7 is equal to x so x is equal to 30 by 7 volt okay so y is equal to 40 by 7 and x equal to 30 by 7 okay so now these two potentials are known so now how to find this current see this current it branches out as suppose i1 and i2 okay so that means i is equal to i1 plus i2 i is equal to i1 plus i2 okay i can get the value of i1 very easily because i know the potential at these two ends this is b is how much b is x x is 30 by 7 this is 10 volt so i1 will be how much potential difference that is 10 minus 30 by 7 potential difference divided by resistance that is 10 ohm okay so this is uh, 70 minus 30 so this is for i1 is equal to 40 by 7 divided by 10 40 by 7 divided by 10 so that is equal to 4 by 7 ampere i1 is equal to 4 by 7 ampere okay similarly how can i get the value of i2 i2 will be equal to this is y is how much 40 by 7 okay so 10 minus 40 by 7 potential difference divided by resistance 5 so this is 30 by 7 30 by 7 70 minus 40 30 by 7 divided by 5 so this is equal to 6 by 7 ampere 6 by 7 ampere so that means i2 is equal to 6 by 7 so 
I is how much? I is I1 plus I2. So I, I is equal to 4 by 7 plus 6 by 7. 4 by 7 plus 6 by 7. So that is equal to how much? I is equal to 10 by 7 ampere. 10 by 7 ampere. So that means the current supplied by the battery. Current supplied by the battery is how much? This is 10 by 7 ampere. 10 by 7 ampere. Okay. 10 by 7 ampere. Now so, suppose this equivalent resistance, we are asked to calculate the equivalent resistance. So this voltage 10, it is equal to current that is 10 by 7 into equivalent resistance, resistance of this part, voltage is equal to current into resistance. Current is how much? 10 by 7. So this 10, 10 gets cancelled. So R equivalent is equal to 7 ohm. So that means resistance of this part is 7 ohm. Okay. So this is how we can solve this circuit without using Kirchhoff's rule. Okay. This circuit in NCRD it is expected to solve the circuit with Kirchhoff's rule. In board we have to use Kirchhoff's rule. But this is another way that is the load potential method also can be used to solve such circuits. Not in board. Okay. Don't use this method in board submission. But in entrance we can use this method to solve circuits.